me show you how to save out a palette of colors that you've created for your design. Just before I show you how to do that, let me just mention very quickly, I added in some additional swatches into the swatches panel. I like to have a set of grays handy just to help along with the design. So what I did here is, let's see, I have 15%, 25%, 50, 75, and 85. So all I did is I just came over to the color panel, knocked in the CMYK color value. So obviously I'm only working with K and then I would add them into the swatches palette, just like you saw before. So let's take our custom color palette and save it out of Photoshop. And again, this is really handy for future reference. If you ever have to come back to your, to your design, you don't have to go and resample colors. So I'm gonna head up to the edit menu and then all the way down to preset manager. I don't know if you mess around with your preset manager at all. It's pretty cool stuff. From the preset type dropdown menu, choose swatches. Okay, there we go. And there's all of the custom color swatches that we've created. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the base color and then hold down shift and grab the last color that you and I created. So you're literally just selecting the color swatches that you want to save out. And then I will also wanna add in solid black and solid white. I like having those guys handy as well. So I'm gonna hold down control or command. I'm gonna grab my solid black. Hopefully you have the same color palette that I have. So he's right there. And then white is way up in the top corner. Grab that guy as well. Okay, so grab all the guys that you want. And then over on the right hand side, click on save set. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna save my color set into my project files folder, which is sitting on the desktop. And you can see, I'm just gonna uncheck hide extension. We can see that Photoshop wants to save out a .aco file, which by the way, you can share with fellow designers and coworkers and things like this. So. I could name this after the, the website, I could name it after the client or you know whatever you like. I'm just gonna call this design color palette. Okay, there we go. Save that guy out, good stuff. And then inside the preset manager dialog box, I'm gonna go ahead and click on done. Okay, wonderful. Now from the swatches palette menu, I'm gonna head down to replace swatches choose that guy. Into my project files folder, I'm gonna grab the color palette that you and I just exported, just saved out, click on open. And now inside the swatches panel, all we have is the set of colors that you and I had created. Awesome. Now, if you want, what you could even do is you could switch maybe to large thumbnails. You can actually see these guys on screen, something like that. So there you go. It's a very cool process, a very cool technique. Once again, for saving out your, your design's color palette, hanging on to it, once again, for future reference. So now that we have this complete, I'm gonna grab swatches and drag and drop him back into my, my set of palettes over on the right-hand side and collapse them down. There we go, we have our color palette established. Mm -hmm.